in 2020, when the sun sets on September 18th, that will start the Feast of Trumpets. In the Bible, we read that it said that you will blast the trumpets, the day for blasting trumpets. And so um, there's different ways that you can bring that into your celebration. I've got a link down below of a really pretty song that I found, and that has a shofar blowing in that song, and I've put a link to that down below. But you can also look up on YouTube, just shofar blast. Um, you can live stream the actual um, blasting of the trumpets in different temples around the United States or even from Israel. Um, but their time frame would be different from whenever we're eating dinner. There is one ministry that I, I don't have any problem promoting and that is Lion and the Lamb Ministries. I really like their stuff. They speak everything coming from love and there's not as much uh, judgment and tearing their brothers down as I've seen in other messianic movements. And so Lion and Lamb Ministries, I'm not sure what they're doing on the Feast of Trumpets, but I know that they'll be doing something because it is the Sabbath as well, and they always have a Sabbath broadcast. Um, something I plan to do because I have little kids, I'm going to go to the Dollar Tree and find some kind of noisemaker so they can blast their own trumpet. You'll want to plan a special dinner. I said in the last video that you could have like a round challah bread. Um, if you have time to do that, that's wonderful. If not, you can go to the bakery and find just a round loaf of bread. If you have special dishes, now is the time to bring those out. I always said if you have china dishes and you're, they're just sitting in your china cabinet, then what good are they? They should be used to enjoy with your family. And if they get broken, they were broken for a good purpose. Here is an evening, the evening of events, how you can set your day up. So you could start with the blowing of the trumpet or all the kids get to blow their little trumpets. Get to gather everybody together as it says in the scripture. Maybe even read Psalms um, 81 verses 3 through 4. It says, Blow the trumpet at the time of the new moon, at the full moon on our solemn feast day, for this is a statute for Israel, a law of the God of Jacob. Light your special candle. Maybe say a prayer over the food and over the evening's events. Um, if you whipped up a video on YouTube of the shofar being blown, maybe have a moment of silence and listen to that sound and think about when the trumpet blasts whenever our Savior comes back. After that, the next thing that you would do is have communion. So you would have crackers and grape juice or wine. If you do wine, we do grape juice. Um, I would put, like while all this is going on, especially if you have littles, that's where the appetizers of the apples and honey would come in handy so they have something to munch on while all of this is going on. And the dinner could be anything that your family really enjoys. Um, it's just supposed to be a, a big celebratory dinner. Honey is used in the traditional sense, so maybe a honey cake or uh, other round desserts to represent the crown of the king, fresh fruit, things like that. After that, my suggestion is because the Bible says that you offer a sacrifice by fire, maybe have a bonfire set outside and spend some time in worship giving the sacrifice of our praise around a campfire. Sounds like a very fun evening with the family. And then that can also include s'mores and whatever else you want with your campfire for the day. So that would be the first night. That would be the evening of September 18th. And then actual Feast of Trumpets, That the day of that is the next day on the 19th. On the evening of the 19th, that's when you would do the um, thing where you get the pebbles and cast them into a body of water. Um, so I'm gonna give you a shopping list of the things that you would need if you want to do these things for your celebration. So number one, you need some noisemakers. If you have kiddos, you need to get the stuff to make your round challah bread or go buy a round challah bread. You need to get your dinner items, figure out what you're gonna fix for dinner. Get your apples and get honey. If you're vegan, there is vegan honey I thought it was quite nasty myself, um, but you do you. You will need candles, a candle holder, special dishes, or like tablecloths, something to dress it up to make it look um, nice. I always get flowers for a special dinner. I always get flowers for every Sabbath dinner because I try to make every Sabbath special. Um, so things that would make this look like a special celebration, it's worth spending money on. This is building memories with your kids and the bigger deal you make out of it, the bigger deal it is to them. You also need crackers and juice or wine for communion. And also you can either use little glasses that you have. Um, we have used little plastic shot glasses that we got at Dollar Tree before. At, they're the perfect size for communion. Are. Things that you will need to prepare, you'll need to prepare your bread. If you're making challah bread from scratch, then you have to give it time to rise, so you need to fix that first. Get your apples and your honey appetizer ready and set up the dishes that you need for that. Get your table set, get your shofar sound if you're going to have that, the YouTube video. Get your communion items ready so that you don't have to go looking for everything. 
get your dinner and your dessert set, um, get your bonfire stuff set up, um, if you have a fire pit, something like that, and the things for s'mores, have all of that ready. And if you are lucky enough to have someone who plays a musical instrument, get that ready for your worship time around the campfire. And that will be the end of the celebration for Feast of Trumpets. Tomorrow, I want to talk to you about the 10 Days of All, which is the next thing that comes up after the Feast of Trumpets. Mm -hmm.